Hi guys, today I'm going to be decorating my faith journal. This is where I write down my scriptures for the week for my scripture writing plan that I create every month. Um, I also put a grateful thought of the week here. So this was Monday and the grateful thought. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I can't turn the page. And then a Saturday and Sunday. So I'm going to flip over here. I have me a little marker here to know where I need to put the next ones back in at. So I've got that there. And I've got my pages. But before I bring my pages over, I want to show you something else. This is next month's script writing plan. And it's about angels. And I do have a big thing here that I wrote out here or typed out here. Uh, Noah helped me design it this time. So, um, this is supposed to be Michael, the Archangel, whenever the, um, angels followed Satan and part of them were cast out. He's stepping on one of the bad angels' head. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you can see it very well, but he helped me design it and so that's what it looks like. Now, this is like 75%, I think it's 75%. It might not be. It might be 68 or something. Anyway, this is a 5x7. And then this one was another size. So you can size this whatever size you want. Now, if you're using like a big planner, like a big happy planner or something like that, you can have a full page. Or you can just have a full page and then fold it or something. But I'm going to use this one. And the reason why that I have three is because I was trying out the different ones to see which one I like best. So this one right here will fill up, oh no, maybe I shouldn't use that one because it's gonna be over the holes, I think. Maybe I should use what I usually use. Okay, sorry about that. I got a text from my Walmart order. But anyway, since this one, this one, it looks very close to the same age, same age, what? Same size, but it's not the same size. This one's a little bit wider, so I'm not going to use it. I'm not throwing these two away. I might just cut them out, and I always save the extra bits for making little notes, but I, I might just give those to someone else um, because I'm not going to throw them away. These are my pages, but I'm just going to cut this down to fit, but um, if you want a copy of this, it is on my link tree. I do not charge for it at all. You are welcome to it if you want it. Or you can just pass by it if you don't want it. Completely up to you. Um, I enjoy writing my scriptures every day. What am I doing? I need to go up here so it'll be straight. I enjoy writing them. And um, I used to get them from other people. There's absolutely nothing wrong with getting them from someone else. I mean, if you get mine, you're getting it from someone else. I mean, you know what I'm saying. So... <laughs> Um, I used to get them from other people, but then there was a point in time where I wanted specific studies or specific subjects, and I couldn't find them. So I started making my own, and then I started sharing them, and it became a thing to where now I make studies. I make, well, they could be a study. It's a study, you know? You are, I do read it and study it whenever I'm doing it, so. Anyway, you could, um have the scriptures as a study or just write them I'm losing my mind right now but anyway it's okay um, I'm gonna do it a little bit different this time I normally did can't talk I normally do two scriptures to a page but since I am putting this in just like I normally do I will do it a little bit differently I have thought about doing this on sticker paper so I could just stick it on, but I have this double-sided tape and I have a lot of it left, so I'm probably not going to do that anytime soon. I actually kind of enjoy the process of using the double-sided tape, too. I don't know why, but I do. Um, this will be for September 25th through October 1st. That is why I'm doing this now, because I need to get this in here before October 1st so that I can have October 1st thing. So, angels um, is something that I feel like we should study. We should know what, I mean, God have, has them in the Bible for a reason. So, 
and I'm sorry, my washer's going crazy. It's changing gears and stuff. But God has angels in the Bible for a reason, and I feel like we should know the importance of them. And I also, um, actually, let me just read a little bit of what I put on here. It says, angels, when you think of them, what do you? What comes to mind? I can't read my own words. Do you, do the cute little cupid, baby looking winged beings come to mind? Do you think of the characters in a movie with the white flowing gowns and huge glittery wings with halos? Or do you think of mighty warriors and messengers of God? When I think of angels, I think of mighty warriors who can fight for me whenever I am in need. I think of a being so great in size that nothing can stop it. I think of an army of God's warriors who can take care of anything he wants them to. Wants them to. I think of gentleness too. I think of angels comforting the ones who are about to die and the ones who grieve after. I think of a soft voice saying it will be okay when times are hard. I think of a sweet breeze of peace when it, life is not okay. So when I think of angels, it might not be what is depicted on the silver screen. It isn't what man has told me angels are supposed to be or look like. It isn't some fairy tale, but what God has shown me in the Bible. In Isaiah 14, we learn about angels who rebelled against God. That's why I use this picture. <laughs> So, we have to be careful which angel we are listening to. The rebellious ones are still out there causing trouble. God sent angels in human form with news. He sent them to comfort. He sent them to warn and protect. I believe he still does today. We need to listen out for God's messengers because that is, who, that is what they are. Let's do a little scripture writing this month and you can let me know what you think angels are when we are done. So, um, it's... 31 days of the scripture writing and um there it is that's that's what it is so i've done the work for you all you've got to do is just look them up so i have my stickers picked already all except the ones that are for my date covers my numbers and all that these are the books i got them from the stick abilities paper studio brand it's the faith one from hobby lobby and this is the bible study sticker books um from the daily grace co so there's that. That's where I got them from, just to let you know. These are Daily Grace Co. and this one, and all the rest of them are from this one, I believe. Yes. That one is from that. It, all of these are from this one. So, it's okay. Uh, if you don't have the books, that's where you can get them from. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the I'm Grateful For down. I'm going to put it in the top like I always do, but I need to figure out how I'm going to do for Sunday because Sunday is the first. So I need to decide now how I want to do it. So my grateful thought will be up here. And you know what? I think I'm going to do a little bit different this time, and I'm just going to go, like, do it as I go. This will be where I put my grateful thought at. So I'm going to put this grace upon grace here. Um, also, I wanted to talk to y'all a little bit about next year. Um, I'm going to be doing things maybe a little bit different. Is that crooked? Okay, sorry, I got a text again, and I put a very annoying ringtone on there for texts because the, all the rest of them that I get with my phone, you can't hear them. So I put something that's long and loud and crazy. Um, so... <laughs> I don't know if you know if y'all heard any of it because I don't know if I got it fast enough or whatever or how I'm going to edit that out or whatever. But anyway, it's not bad. It's not like it's, I don't, I didn't put anything that I wouldn't care. I, mean, I don't care if you hear it, but I don't really want that in here. <laughs> I don't want that in my video because copyright, that's the main thing. <laughs> copyright infringement. I don't want to be infringing on anybody's businesses. <laughs> What was I saying before I was so rudely interrupted? Um, what was, I don't know what I was saying. So, let's just hope that I pick it back up at some point. Um, I'm just going to go little by little and then, oh, next year. I'm going to try to most likely do things a little bit differently. And what I mean by that is... Um, 
I am probably going, I'm just going to use these black ones just because it might be easier. I'm probably going to, um, I'm going to put Monday up here. I'm going to use my planner, this, for more than just scripture writing. Not sure yet. Have to figure it out. But I'm thinking that's the route I want to go. And um, I'm thinking that I want to do like um, maybe some Bible study in my faith journal. I don't know yet. I'm going to put that there for now. I'm going to use these black ones since I'm using the black words. All right. Put that there. <laughs> okay. This one says, Trust in the Lord. Now, this one has two scriptures. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It's just got one. Actually, I need to go ahead and write these in so I can put them in as I go. Don't I? Yeah, I do. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let me just find it on my computer and make it easier so that I don't have to um, keep moving papers around and driving y'all and me crazy. That work for y'all? It works for me. I hope it does for you. So, so the first date is going to be the 30th. That's right, right? No, it's not. Oh my, for goodness. That's the last date, lady. Don't let me forget I put that there. The first date is the 25th. And y'all probably were like, uh-uh, don't do that. Fix it. Don't do that. What are you doing here? I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, the 25th is um, 2 Timothy 2.12. I'm going to bring this out so I can write on this. So, I'm going to put that one down. And then, I'm going to put it over here. Okay. Then I'll put a decor decoration down. I think I'll use... Well, I wanted to put the decoration over here. So I could just use this one. I'll do it like that. Yeah. Oh, also, my theme this week is grace. That's what it's a lot of. Uh, that one says grace upon grace. That one says he gives more grace. And I'll read the rest of them to you as I go. That's just what I wanted to do. Okay, Tuesday. I'm going to put down here. But yeah, I want to um, do a little something different than what I normally do. And I want to, um, for next year, I'm hoping this is going to work. I don't know yet. Let me find me something else to use as a place marker. And hopefully I won't get the wrong dates. Put that down for Tuesday. Tuesday scripture, the 26th is Acts 2.42. Okay. Put that one in over here. And then I will put in... I have three that say grow in grace, but I wanted one on each page. So I'm going to stick this one here. Okay. And then for this part, that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday is how I want to do it. And then Sunday, I'm going to put on with the scripture. I hope this works. We're going to see if it works. Did I lose my spot? No, I just have a... Oh no! I forgot something I wanted to do! I wanted to do this! I knew something wasn't like I wanted it. I'm like, what am I doing? I wanted to do this. I wanted to stick the dates 
on this. Can you come up? I wanted to go on it like that. And then I was going to put this down like that. I thought that would be very pretty. I think it is. I think it's pretty. I think I was right. So I think I'm just going to put this one to the side like I had the other one. Like I had it before. Put the date here. And then put this down. But the only thing is, if I do that next year, actually, let me go ahead and put these down. Let me, since I have that, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, What am I saying? Okay. If I do that, if I add more to it and do this as like a, if I do it as a Bible study thing as well, which y'all may not ever see the Bible study stuff, but if I do that, then um, I won't be able to use this book that I'm using, the one that Jeff and I made. I will not get rid of it. I might use it for something else, but I can't use it for the same thing if I do that. 27, 28, 29, 30. That was supposed to be Saturday, not Monday. And then the first is Sunday. Okay, now I can put this book away. That means one less thing in my way. Or whatever. Um, so, the next one would be Wednesday. Put that one in. And then the scripture for Wednesday, the 27th, is John 13, 34, and 35. But I haven't decided yet. That's not right. Oh, I put the 13 up top. And I didn't do my little dots. I should have put it at the bottom. But that's okay. I'm not changing it. I'm not going to... I could use my Tombow. But I'm not going to do that. Because that's alright. It looks fine. Now I'm going to put in one of these. Uh, since this is going to be a longer scripture... Since it's two, I'm going to use the smaller one. And then I'm going to put Thursday down here. And it is a smaller scripture. No, it's not. It's longer. It's Titus 1, 2. It's Titus 2, 1 through 3. So we're going to go up a little bit. About right there. We're going to hope this works out. Titus 2, 1 through 3, and oh boy, <laughs> got this one here, let's just, I don't want another Growing Grace on this page, because I need it for the back page, so I'm going to put this, which is probably a bad mistake, but we're going to make it work. And then, Friday, I'm going to put over here, where it should be. I was trying to think if I want to put it there because of the little book. So, the um, 29th is Titus 2, 4 through 6. 
Oh, I did it again. Oh well. It's fine. I'm not going to fret about it. And I did say I wanted that on every page, the Growing Grace, but what I mean is every one you can look at. It doesn't need to be on the actual every page. This one says, "'Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus." I'm going to put that one right there. Saturday. I'm really enjoying this the way it's looking. I'm going to put it right here. Titus 2, 7 through 8. Did I put 4 through 6? Yeah. Titus 2, 7 through 8. So I can just take this down because I'm done with it. And I already have the other one right there. It'll be right in front of my face to reference. So that's not a problem. I don't need to pull it up. And then I'm going to put this all to him I, I freely give. I'm going to put it in right here. I'm going to be writing really small this time. I'm going to move that over there for now. And then I'm going to do the new plan. I'm going to have it up here. And yeah. Alright, so i got to get the double-sided tape on it. I got this from Amazon. It should be in my Amazon store down below. It is an affiliate link, so if you do buy anything from there, I should get some pennies. Uh, honestly, I haven't ever gotten anything yet, but that's all right, too. I just have it there just in case you guys want to know about something that I use. I don't really have it there to make money from because if I never make money from it, that's fine. If I do make money from it, that's fine, too. But, um, if I'm supposed to make money from it, I will. That's just the way I feel about it. That's the way I feel about YouTube, too. I, I don't really make much off of YouTube, but I don't do it for the money. If I did it for the money, I would have quit seven years ago, almost. Well, actually, six years ago, because I've been doing a little over seven. Or a little over six. No. November will be seven years, so almost seven years is what I should say. So, if I was doing YouTube for the money... I definitely have quit a long time ago. I do it because I enjoy talking to you guys, I enjoy sharing with you guys, and I enjoy my time doing it. Plus, I just really, I like the process of editing. Y'all, the other day I got this weird email. Um, they, it, it was this company, I don't know what it was, but they wanted to know if I wanted to try out their editing software, and I was like, well, I, I'm always game if you want me to, you know, Spot, if you want to sponsor me and you want me to try something out, that's great. But, I mean, if it's something I believe will be good. But, it wasn't that. Uh, it was, they wanted me to send them my footage and them edit my videos. Now, do you think that if I did that, that those videos would really be me still? No, they wouldn't be my weirdness. They wouldn't be me. I'm going to put this up here a little bit just because I'm not going to have much space to write and I have two scriptures to write. So this one, the Growing Grace, is going to be... Uh, I may have to cut it off some. I don't want to, but I'm going to because I want to have all this space down here that I can have, but I still want that sticker there because I just do. And it's okay to do sticker surgery. Don't don't let anybody tell you it's bad. It's your stickers. It's your supplies. Do what you want to with it. Make it the way you want it. If you had it exactly like it came all the time, it'd look like everybody else's. Yeah, I know. I cut off some of the pretty flowers, but that's all right. Um, the one for the first is Revelation. Five, eleven through 12 and like I said the scripture writing plan is completely free I do not charge you anything for it at all and if you are interested in it you are welcome to have it is on my link tree down below and I, I do take it off every month but they're always on my um, blog so there's that now I still have these two but I'm not going to use them because 
Well, quite honestly, I don't have space. But I was trying to make sure I had plenty. I did that. I did that job. So I can use them later. I will keep them. So I'm going to put this back into the planner. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I think it turned out pretty good. Most of the time, whenever I come sit to sit down to do the monthly area of this, I don't have a plan. It just happens however it happens. Now, it's different almost every month. And that's okay. I also don't know if I've got enough pages here to go all the way to January. But if not, I have some more of these sheets. Which is another reason why that I may swap from this little binder thing. Because I'm going to have to buy more sheets. I do have other things that I can use where I wouldn't have to buy more sheets. And I could use this for something else, like I said. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out later. But, um... Right now, I'm going to show you what this looks like after it's all done. So, there's the Grateful Thought, Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, which is odd to say. But there you go. And then, Sunday. So, that's the new scripture writing plan. If you guys are interested, I kind of wish I wouldn't have done that one there. I maybe done something like this one there. But it's too late now and that's okay I mean I do have other stickers but I, I would I've already cut it I, maybe if I cut the top part off a little bit more and it didn't have those cut off flowers maybe I could do that and it wouldn't bother me so much maybe more like that oh it's not far up enough let me get my tweezers back those cut off flowers is what was bothering me I think I like that better. Oh, that's the wrong side. Alright, so there we go. That's what we got going on for this coming week. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and do all the YouTube things, which I haven't said that in a while. I don't know why it popped out of my mouth. But anyway, those things are like, subscribe, hit the bell, share, but most importantly, leave a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. Don't forget, I don't only do like planner videos i do lots of other things too like cooking cleaning not so much cleaning lately but i do that some <laughs> so anyway thank you again for hanging out with me today and remember don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet that was crooked i couldn't handle it <laughs>